everyone welcome back to my channel in this video we're going to talk about the protest that's kind of on this way for for jordan neely you know how i feel about this situation i don't think it's genuine i think people are protesting just because because if you have this same feeling about someone losing their life with jordan neely what about the hundreds and thousands of kids and other black individuals killed on a daily basis? Why aren't you protesting for them? We're saying black lives matter and you want justice for Jordan Neely. Why don't you want justice for all these other victims that that's killed? So I don't think this protest is genuine, but we'll, we'll take a look at it and see what they're doing. Not New York City, this is Clown City. The days of murdering us and getting away with it are fucking over. Over and done! If we have to strap up and come out here and just start popping, it's gonna happen. We're tired of it. Let's go! That's it. We're black people That's under it. attack! You try to encroach upon any one of us, we laying you the fuck down. And he learned not to George Floyd! Get him fucking learned! My body count is established. Look it up, criminal court. Murder, 42nd Street, 1984. Look it up. That's me, 35 years. We ain't taking this shit no fucking more. Yeah. We tired of it. We tired of you racist pigs. We tired of you racist civilians. We tired of being murdered. So you hear he's tired of being murdered and you murdered somebody 35 years ago. Just really ridiculous. I want to point out this individual. She don't look too sane. This this lady right here. She's as dark as this guy. And you got this blonde wig on. And you talking about Black Lives Matter. Well, what is this? Why you got a blonde wig on? A platinum blonde wig on at that? What, what are you trying to portray? <laughs> and I'm talking about her face in that head. But anyway. Justice for Jordan Neely. This other young lady. They they threaten violence. This is this is what you don't want. You denounce violence, but you're gonna say, "Hey, I'm tired of this, and we're gonna take over the city. I'm tired of pigs, cops. I'm tired of police officers." I'm tired of um, white supremacy, but then that gives you all the authority to be racist to other people. I just don't understand it. So black black lives matter. They said they're gonna tear the city up. Where is the black? And so you're gonna tear up your own city. You got black business owners that's in your city, or people of color that's in your city. So you're gonna tear up their businesses too. But I thought black lives matter. It, to me, it doesn't make sense. Make it make sense to me. And then again, let's talk about Jordan Neely. We are standing up for a victim that victimize other people, that terrorize other people. We, we pick the craziest martyrs to be the leader of our community. Now, this is some crazy stuff right here. Your silence is violence. Your officers are taking black lives. This was a citizen. An ex-Marine that took his life. What, did, what does that have to do with police officers? I, I don't understand. 
And this this other lady, she's asking, oh, are you guys going to arrest the person that, ma'am, I'm a police officer. That's what detectives are for. They investigate murders. If it was ruled a homicide, they got to rule it as a mur murder. And I think it's going to a grand jury. They might see it at the grand jury, but they're not really talking about it. You see, the news media is not really talking about it, but New York, Black Lives Matter. Then you got this lady with no bra on. Look at this fake outcry. BLM and two will must absolutely certain that the crisis does not go to waste. Yeah. They gonna cry Black Lives Matter over somebody that was a schizophrenic, had mental health issues, had a warrant out for his arrest for assaulting people. Yeah, Black Lives Matter. The Jordan Neely... The guy that he, the person that he assaulted, I think it was a woman, probably was a black woman, assault, uh, going around assaulting people. But we want to hold him up and protest for him and probably possibly cause, oh, it's warm outside so we could start rioting and taking shit that don't belong to us. And then we could blame it on Black Lives Matter, Jordan Neely, white supremacy. Make it make sense. And this dude harassing people. <laughs> This is what they got to go through in New York. And then you wonder why nobody want to sign up to be a police officer. Look, back in the day, old boy would have got dropped. <laughs> like maybe five, ten years ago, <laughs> this this would never happen. This would have never happened. We, we talk about police brutality. This dude would have been, they would have been filming him or he would have been in the hospital somewhere because that would have never happened. They don't play that stuff i don't know this is some new age stuff that they doing um and this is but it's okay because now we got our cameras oh we got to do be responsible we we have to act inclusive police are demonized so that's that's why this is happening this tweet ian chiong mouse chong said jordan neely I bet you they had no idea Jordan Neely went to jail for attempting kidnapping a seven-year-old girl. As for what he intended to do with her, I'll let you think about that for a minute. So he went to jail for kidnapping, allegedly. I don't know his records. They said allegedly he went to jail for trying to kidnap a girl. Now, this is crazy. They on the on the train. Now, I don't know if you know about subways. Subways usually have a live electrified lines and all these people are on, on the subway. The track. 
trying to, they're protesting. But make it make sense. Why would you protest in harm's way? How do you know this train is going to actually stop? You don't know that. You don't know if the emergency brake will fail. You, you don't know that. But this is what people that's not in their right mind, thinking they're doing something for a cause, they do this kind of stuff. We want to protest for Jordan Neely. That's what we want to do. We want to protest for Jordan Neely. We want to get ourselves in harm's way for Jordan Neely. Jordan Neely, a guy that was not on any account a saint. And you might say, oh, he had mental health issues. That's even more reason why you shouldn't be protesting for him because he had mental health issues. So the things that he did as a person probably was not on the up and up. So Jordan Neely had 42 prior arrests. One was for transit fraud, criminal trespassing. He probably was on the train illegally. Um, at the time Neely death, he had a warrant for connection to a 2021 20, incident. Um, and I think that was the assault of the 65-year-old woman that they were saying that he was had a warrant out for his arrest. But this is who they, they're protesting. And you care about so much, like, mental health and homelessness. You're protesting for Jordan Neely while all the homelessness or homeless people are still out on the street. What what one of your protests could be, hey, everybody that's out here that's protesting, how about we buy a homeless person some food? How about we give them some clothes? How about we show them where the shelter is? How about we protest, hey, we need some more psychiatric care units? How about that? Protest on that. You care so much about mental health and homelessness and Blacks being killed out on the street from so-called white people, even though this white man had a black accomplice. Why don't we protest about the crime that's in our neighborhood? Why don't we protest against that? But we so much care about Jordan Neely. That's why I said this is on false pretense and all this just trying to build up. How much free shit can I get? Let's start a riot so we could get some free shit. We could tear up stuff and blame it on white supremacy. It's a bunch of mess. Let me know in the comment section what you think.